Hi guys, we have a chestnut, we have a mare, and we have a thoroughbred. Right now I am going to be showing you guys what I'm going to do to help this horse further along in training. Um, we're here this morning at Selsley Farm in the Dargal KZN, and I am starting with my first training project back from work, back from having my hip replaced. And I have chosen this lovely mare, Princess. Um, she's a fairly clean slate, she's had a little bit done with her. Um, but I want to talk about the spelling, the myth of the chestnut mare, the myth of the thoroughbred mare, um, and all of the, the negative wives tales that come along with horses. Um, and you know, I think that it, it uh, is a worthy conversation to have um, because none of those things are true. And as I go through my training process, um, I want to talk a lot about those things with you. So Princess is a four-year-old mare. Um, she is being covered right now, so she's in the. You know, we're um, going to do our quick session in between teasing and going for covering right now. Um, and the value of that is she is going to learn to look to a human for leadership and guidance. You know, she's a gigantic four-year-old baby. Having her stand next to me, you can actually appreciate um, how much horsepower I have on the end of my rope today. Um, but she's also a great big baby. She knows absolutely nothing. You know, she's um, led to and from the paddock. She's groomed in the stable. Um, you know, she's handled by grooms primarily um, and, and has almost, almost no training on her. Um, Princess is going to be available for sale if you guys are interested. Um, and I think I'll, I'll approve her going to a new home here in a couple of weeks. Um, right now, I think I want to share with you guys the process that I'm going to take her through. Um, and as things come up, I will share about the thoroughbred mare. I will share about spooky horses. Um, so where we're starting right now is with my program, um, Positive Progress Through the Four Core Movements. Um, today, I think we're just going to get working on the backup and have her feel safe in the arena that I'm working in. Um, I don't want to work in the round pin with her. I want to work out in the open so I get the most honesty with her. You know, in the stable she is actually, you know, somewhat confident to push me around. Out here she's a little bit worried. Um, we have brush cutters and everything that happens on a farm. This is a very busy stud farm with lots of horses and lots of people working. Um, and she can easily be distracted. Four-year-olds are easily distracted. So today I'm going to work on focus and the backup. Um, and I will share with you guys what I get done. Um, and it might be a very, very quick session, and then we'll move on to another session, session that I'll share, share with you guys tomorrow. If you guys want to follow this process, please like and share my YouTube channel, Heartfelt Horsemanship. Um, you can find us on Instagram, you can find us on Facebook, um, and you can stay in the loop as to what we're doing. And if you have questions, um, feel free to send us a message, and we're happy to answer them for you.
So you can see her attention span isn't very long. Um, the things that I look for to improve this week are to have her learn to relax in the space a little bit more. Um, I'm practicing the art of doing nothing right now. When you have a horse that's just busy and you have training to do, it seems like I'm doing a lot of nothing right now. Um, and actually I'm doing the most important thing that I can do with a horse and help them feel safe in my presence. Remember that if a horse can't stand well, they can't walk well. If a horse can't do, stand and walk well, they can't lead well, they can't load well, they can't ride well. So right now we're going to spend a lot of time in our sessions learning to, to stand well. Um, once she's focused and I get these um, intermittent uh, moments of, of focus and clarity and, and her being relaxed, I will start putting in a few movements. Um, so now that she's relaxing a little bit, I feel like I can ask her to back up without having to thump on her nose too much. Because horses learn through dwell time, I'm going to make sure that I give her ample dwell time. You can see she's still a little unsettled, she's unsure. So all of that pawing is not her being misbehaving, that is her just being curious and trying to decide if she's safe. So my only focus for today is to be able to back her out of my space for safety and have her become settled in this space. Um, if you guys have questions, let me know, and we'll check you back in the next few sessions, and we'll see what progress we get.